My dad, Phil, was always a great businessman. Um, he always imparted a lot of wisdom on my brother and I growing up, just about saving, um, having like a really good understanding of money. He was really kind of a self-made man, um, first person in his family to graduate from college. And so there were just so many great things that he taught us. And so when I think about his story, um, a lot of that wisdom has always stuck with me. At the same time, uh, his life was also cut short. Um, right after my mom and dad both retired, um, he passed away shortly after. And something that always stuck with me was the fact that he invested so much in his future. He invested a lot in us, which of course is such a blessing. But he also had a mindset that he was always planning for something in the future. And sometimes your future doesn't go according to plan. And I can certainly relate to that. Um, I went through a time in my life where um, a lot of my plans, you know, went in completely different directions than I thought they would. And I went through a really hard time in my life financially. And so it's really easy to have this mindset that you can live in that is all about scarcity. We want control. We're trying to protect ourselves. So we feel like if we're kind of holding on to everything we have, that will somehow um, take care of, you know, the needs that we have. But I found that when I switched that mindset to abundance um, and I could honor God, even with whatever I had for that specific paycheck, he could multiply the abundance that I needed and do far more with it than what I would do just holding on to it myself. It didn't really add up on paper. And this is where I, I feel so compelled to share my story. Um, I had saved up for years trying to rebuild my credit, trying to finance a home. But still, if you would have looked at even my bank account, it, it might not have seemed like enough to be able to finance a home or to be able to give certain things to my girls. But I, I held that faith. Um, I continued to tithe what I could. And in 2020, um, specifically in March 2020 during COVID, as the world was shutting down, God opened that door and I was able to finance a home. Um, my career transformed. I moved up in the company that I was working in, was offered a new position, and it just um, financially blessed my girls and myself. I feel that God had a purpose for my home. Aside from just being a home for a family, it's been a home that's been able to serve and build community and really change lives. When I think back about my father and just his story and the idea of saving for a future, planning for a future, it reminds me that your future is not set. God is the only one that can control our future. And so I found the more that I honored God uh, financially, with my service, with my time, with my heart, the more He was able to abundantly bless my life, but not just for me. He had a greater purpose. He wanted to make sure that the abundance that I was given could then be used to bless others. And that's really what has you know, stayed with me. And that's what's really changed my perspective and um, led me into a whole different place with my faith walk and honoring God.